Okay, so this is the second video on um, on connections, and I want to talk about some local computations and how you compute with these things locally. So, um, so what we're going to do is uh, this is about local computations uh, with connections. And um, and so let me just start. Uh, so S is going to be a space, and E is going to be a vector bundle on S. Uh, and then we're going to take gamma, or sorry, nabla to be a, a map from E to omega one of S tensored with E. And so this is going to be a connection. And so it satisfies this Leibniz rule for multiplication. Um, and so the so what I want to do is I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say we're gonna need to fix some data okay so um, so let locally so we're gonna pick some point in some neighborhood and so we're gonna let uh, theta one through theta of uh, n so let's say here um, the dimension of s is gonna be n uh, so be a local basis uh, for the tangent bundle of s and uh, we're going to let E1 to ER, so we're going to have a rank R, so the rank of the vector bundle is going to be R, okay, uh, be a local basis, the same local basis, so the same locally, right? so I mean like the same open set, uh, a local basis for M, so, um, uh, so let's say E, okay, so we did E before. Um, Okay, and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going I'm to define what the Christoffel symbols are. Okay, so um, so definition. So let me just maybe write out the formula. So I'm going to use Roman letters for um, so these these guys are going to be Roman, and then I'm going to use Greek letters here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're, we're going to talk about what it means for. Our, we're, okay, so what we do is we just write out uh, gamma is equal one up to r, so up to the rank here of gamma of a. Let's say here gamma of a beta of e uh, beta here. Okay, so here we can just write out what it means. Sorry, e gamma. Uh, we can write out what it means for. Um, I mean, like all the symbols involved in in writing down a a, a a covariant derivative, and these guys here are the Christoffel symbols. So Christoffel symbols. So so they depend on this open set that we we used to trivialize the uh, vector bundle, um, the the vector bundle and the tangent bundle simultaneously. Uh, these are Christoffel symbols. Okay, and then we, I talked about this Levi-Civita connection, and when the so usually these are are usually referred to in this Levi-Civita context, but uh, it's useful to talk about them here too. Okay, so the, these guys are the Christoffel symbols, and these are the things that you compute with. Okay, and they're just going to be a bunch of a collection of functions. So they're a bunch of functions. Okay, so they're functions on S, and they're defined locally. Um, so these things don't behave that well with a change of coordinates. Um, I don't think we need to get into that, but um, uh, let's start computing. Okay, so those are the Christoffel symbols. Uh, let me sit, let me make a fact uh, or statement or claim statement fact uh, claim slash fact. Okay, so locally, uh, every connection looks like the connection, uh, a basic connection. So this connection from a system of differential equations, so a local system of differential equations, uh, looks like uh, here d plus omega. Okay, and here, this is going to be a matrix of uh, of one forms okay
Okay, and so one of the things we want to do is we want to disentangle what this, this guy is. Okay, so, um, so what we can do is we can write here uh, theta of A of E beta. Okay, and uh, what we'll do is we'll just take the definition of this, of the covariant derivative. Okay, and if we wrote out what this looked like, theta a, okay, so then this thing, well, this, so let's say that this is a trivialization, so that this guy is identified with, uh, uh, with the column vector. And this column vector just looks like, well, zeros everywhere, except for there's going to be a one somewhere, and then um, it has zeros everywhere else, and this is going to be in the, the beta spot. Okay. Um, and so what's the length of this? This is, again, length r, so it's a rank r vector bundle. This thing's not the same size. Okay, these guys go from uh, 1 to n because we have an n-dimensional space, so these are the tangent space guys. Um, okay, so this is this, and uh, this guy here, uh, we just have omega times e beta. So d, remember d, we're going to have it be it's locally this trivial uh, vector bundle, uh, or this locally, um, the, the what do I call it, a basic connection. So d applies component-wise, and component-wise on this guy, everything's just zero. So we just get the here, and then we have this e, uh, this, this theta a here. So that we have this tangent vector here. Okay, and so this thing really, um, what this does is it picks out out the uh, uh, the beta -th column of um, of omega. Okay. Um, so what we can do is we can think about what, what this guy is really here. So this guy is, is just this sum. Uh, and I'm just going to write out what the, 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 this, uh, the Levy Chivi, the, sorry, the um, Christoffel symbols again. Uh, so this is uh, A beta, so E gamma here. And then when we think about uh, this guy in relation to uh, this guy here, uh, we can see that we, we will be able to get, um, uh, well, well, we'll try and think about what, what this omega actually is, okay? And so this omega, it eats elements of m, and it spits out elements of omega, so or it eats elements of e, the vector bundle, and spits out elements of omega, and, uh, and then we'll, we can actually see that uh, this omega, there's kind of a magic formula. So the formula that we want is the following. Okay, if you think about it a little bit, so this is what we have. So beta goes from 1 to r, and uh, alpha goes from 1 to uh, the dimension of s, which is n, and then we just write it out, and then we have to use these dual guys, so a, a star tensor, and then we have e, b star. And so this is what writes out a matrix. So this is the matrix. These are matrix elements. And then this is the function here. These are functions. Um, and what we've used is this no notation that this is the dual of uh, theta a. And then uh, e b star, this is the dual of e beta. OK? So this is the vector space dual. OK, and so this is actually what this omega will be locally, given our, our formula for the Christoffel symbols. Okay, so there's kind of a nice shorthand notation. Um, the shorthand notation is uh, the following. Uh, so we, if we use the fact that, uh, if we use this, this, this convention that we flip indices for duals, 
Um, so that uh, uh, e beta star is e beta here. Then in some like uh, some okay, so uh, if physicists watch this, they're going to roll roll over, and they're well, actually they're not at all. Uh, they don't care. Uh, so this is some uh, wacky Einstein notation. Uh, so so this is uh, in Einstein notation. Uh, we can write so that we sum over uh, raised and lowered indices. Uh, this is what the expression for omega is going to be. Uh, and this is useful in computations. So this is a kind of by the way here uh, that we're going to have this form here. Okay, so um, Okay, so let's go back to that question that we were asking about what does here, what does the actual beta -th column, column of, of omega look like? So we can now use that. So the, um, so here, uh, so what do we have? So So if we look at omega paired with theta of a, okay, this guy is actually uh, looks like gamma of uh, a b here, and now we have uh, one goes. So this guy is a matrix, uh, uh, an r by r matrix. So we've eliminated the Roman letter, and so this is this um, vector. And so how are we going to express it as a as a matrix of, of forms? So this thing is actually looks like this. So it looks like gamma of uh, uh, 1, a1, gamma of 1, a2, and so on, and then gamma of 2, a1, gamma of 2, a2, and so on, so on like this. Okay, so, um, okay, so, <clears throat> so here we have the, uh, the, the column index is, is going to be this, so this is the column index. And this guy here is the row index. Okay. And now when we get rid of the A's, okay, uh, we'll actually find that omega looks like this the following. It looks like a, a matrix like this, where we where A's run uh, free from uh, one to the dimension of S, and we just sum over all of these guys like so. Okay, so this is the expression for omega. Okay, so this is this. This is the expression. And uh, here again we have, uh, so this is going to be the R by R matrix, by R matrix of uh, one forms. Okay, so we use the trivialization, and uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, and so... Um, That's nice. Here's the other formula again, if you want to look at this. So they're the same thing. Okay, so I guess an important particular case is, um, so is when we take local coordinates, Um, here, so here we have these guys, so these guys are uh, local coordinates, okay, and so then um, uh, what do we get, so here, well, so uh, let me just say that uh, theta of a, is dxa, and um, and then we have the the, the beta -th column. Well, of omega is actually equal to. Uh, so we have the rank, or sorry, n, 
and then we had gamma 1 of a beta, and we had dxa, and then it goes all the way down to the sum of gamma of r of a beta dxa, like this. And so these are naturally raised indices or something, okay? So, um, and so that's, that's this. Um, I'm going to uh, say a little bit more about this, but uh, first I'm going to get my notes together.